Hi, this is Andy Barclay with Remax Elite, and today we're visiting 325 Kensal Court in Merritt Island, Florida. Uh, the home we're visiting today is a three bedroom, two bath home, officially, but with a converted garage space that actually has two more bedrooms in it that we'll see in just a minute, making it a five bedroom home at this time. Uh, we have a one car garage, like I said, that's been converted here on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side here, we have a two car detached garage that allows for traditional parking. Uh, there's also space to park an RV or a camper or a boat on the other side of that garage. We have a really neat craftsman style porch here. And we are now moving inside, as you can see. I'll show you the uh, front yard now that we're inside. I kind of wanted to hurry. There's actually a crew doing some yard work right down the street, and it was rather noisy out there until just before I started the video. But you can see we're on a corner lot here. Huge front yard. Uh, we actually have a lot of space in the backyard as well. But a lot of possibilities for landscaping there out front. Uh, we are on a dead-end street, so it's a very quiet street here in Merritt Island, conveniently located very close to shopping and great schools, but also very quiet as well. It's a, a really nice neighborhood with very low turnover. Uh, the home that we're in today, like I said, is a three-bedroom, two-bath home, technically, but off to this side of the house, we do have a converted one-car garage that I'll show you in just a minute that actually adds two bedrooms to the house, so we have a total of five. Now as you walk in, as you've kind of seen as I've turned the camera, we have a living space off to the left hand side, and that hallway leads to the three bedrooms that were originally with the house. We have a really nice uh, living space back here with a wood burning fireplace that we'll take a closer look at in just a second but we're going to start with this side of the home. Since I'm talking about that converted garage, I'd like to show it to you while it's uh, fresh in our mind. Before we get there though, you'll see that we have a nice dining area. We have a breakfast bar here. We have an opening that leads us into the kitchen. So we have a large pantry. Uh, stainless appliances. And while the cabinets are not brand new, they are in great shape as you can see. Now what this used to be was a door leading to the uh, original one car garage. However, you can see that it has been converted into a living space. Off to the left, I'll show you first, we have a door that leads out back, which we are not going to go through. To my right, we have a laundry room. So you do have an inside or an indoor laundry room. And uh, that's important because many of the homes from this era in Merritt Island have the uh, washer dryer out in the garage. In fact, this being what used to be a garage, technically the house still has the washer dryer in the garage, but since it's been converted into living space, it's now what I would call an interior washer dryer. Uh, we have one of the bedrooms in this converted space. So you can see it does have a window. Uh, it does not have a closet, so technically we cannot call it a bedroom on the MLS, but clearly it's being used for that purpose currently. And then at what used to be the front of the garage, we have a office space that could also be used as a bedroom. Now this does have a closet, so we could call it a bedroom in the MLS. but a nice space here. So those are the uh, newer bedrooms that were added on in the converted garage. We're now going to make our way back to the original 
uh, bedroom wing of the home. As we do though, we'll walk through this living space again. As you can see, it's very large, uh, nice and roomy, very comfortable. It's set up well with uh, lots of furniture, so there's plenty of seating for everyone. If someone's watching something in here that somebody else doesn't want to watch, we have this living space that can be closed off with two pocket doors. As I mentioned earlier, we do have a wood-burning fireplace here. Now, I don't think I mentioned the square footage yet. Uh, the tax record shows a square footage of 1752 but we have about I'm going to say about 200 250 square feet in that converted garage space I'm going to say the house is about 2,000 square feet give or take in a living space right now but of course the taxable record is only saying 1754 Now the first room that we get to is one of the original bedrooms. You can see it's a, a nice size, plenty of room. And as we get to the end of the hallway, we can go left or right. If we go left, we have a second non-master bedroom. You can see this has windows on both sides of the uh, room here, which is nice. And then adjacent to it, we have the guest bathroom that you can see has been renovated. And uh, a nice skylight up here on top to let in some natural light. And then moving down the hallway, we have the master bedroom, which, like the uh, last bedroom we were in, does have windows on both sides, so it can be nice and bright in here if you choose it to be, or with the blinds closed, it can be uh, nice and dark for sleeping. But plenty of room here. We actually have two closets, one in front of me, or one in the center of the screen, and then as I turn, it's mirrored, but we have a uh, nice large walk-in closet here. So lots of closet space here. And then this being the master bedroom, we have the master bath right around the corner here. And this bathroom, like the guest bath, has also been renovated as you can see. Now we'll move back toward the living area and take a look at the backyard. But as you can see, the uh, house has lots of living space, it's a great floor plan. It's a little unusual for Merritt Island, which I think makes it really nice. Uh, many of the homes from this era are more of just a, uh, basically a rectangle that's been broken up by walls. Here it's nice and spread out, it feels very spacious. Uh, it's a neat configuration, which, you know, for whatever that's worth, it's unusual for the area, which makes it gives it some character is what I'm trying to say. I'm now working on unlocking the door so we can head out back. You can see we have a nice little sitting area here in front of us. I'll give you a better look at that in just a second. Now the backyard is fenced. So we do have a fully fenced backyard.
And then on the uh, other side of this fence, I'm just going to lift the camera up to show you, is that space on the side of the house I mentioned at the beginning of the video where you could park a boat or a camper or something of that nature. But all in all, a great house. A great location as well. Very close to schools, great schools, uh, if you look them up online. Uh, highly rated. Uh, we have shopping very close, uh, central in the county, so we're close to uh, just about anything in Brevard County. Uh, only about an hour away to Orlando. In fact, I live very close to this house, and uh, we went to Disney, Disney World, the other day, and it took us just over an hour to actually drive into the park. So, a great location. There we are. So, today we have visited 325 Kensal Court in Merritt Island, Florida. Uh, it is technically a three-bedroom, two-bath home, but we do have those two extra rooms in the converted one-car garage, so there is lots of space. Uh, the garage could be converted back if you wanted to, but you know what? I have not shown you one thing yet. Let me take you over to the uh, two-car detached garage since we're talking about it. So you can see we just walked down the covered walkway here. A nice little breezeway here with some room to sit. And then we have the two car garage right here in front of us. Now I don't have a light turned on, but I think with the camera uh, adjusting, you can see that there's a ton of space in here. You could easily park two cars here. Uh, the garage is deep enough that you could fit a truck or a large SUV or something of that nature. Obviously, there's a lot of storage space since you can see it's being used as such right now. So again, I was saying we have visited 325 Kensal Court today in Merritt Island, Florida. Uh, if you would like more information about this house, you can give me a call. My name is Andy Barclay, and my wife and I are both full-time realtors with Remax Elite. Uh, my number is 321-514-9862. Or if you prefer, you can email me at andy at brevardhomesandcondos.com. And if you prefer just to read more about this house, uh, see some pictures, get a better description of it, you can visit our website at www brevardhomesandcondos.com and you can also search for other homes in the Brevard area. I thank you for watching.